Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to learn how we can add wish list to our WooCommerce website. Let's get started. Now let's head over to dashboard and install the plugin. Click on plugins, add new. Search for wish list. And install this one, which is called TI WooCommerce wish list by Template Invaders. Click on install now. Now let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. And click on activate. Now we will redirect it to this page. Now let's set it up. Click on let's go. Now here we can see we will name our page. and choose wish list click on continue and this will make our wish list page now here we can edit our button button positioning we can change before or after card which corresponds to this one And here we can change if it if we want it to appear in our product listing for now we will enable it and click on continue now here what this means if we add our wish list product to our cart or buy it from the cart it will be removed so we want it to be automatically click on continue now you can choose if you want to share your wish list. Now for now, I will have to disable these because I don't want to share my wish list. And click on continue. For now, I'm going to skip this step and return to WordPress dashboard. Now wait for a minute or so and head towards your website. Go to your shop and here you can see add to wishlist button has appeared. We'll try it. As you can see, this pop up has appeared. We are wish, and this is our wish list page. We can add or remove more items. Now, let's head back and see more settings. Now, let's see some more settings. Head over to TI wish list. Head down. Now we can choose whether we require login or not for creating a wish list. Now we can change the button position from here as well.
Now if I want to remove the add to wishlist button from product listing, I can do that as well. So I will disable it. Now there are some more settings that you can do. You can even change how the button looks as well. For now we are using the theme style, but you can use your custom CSS as well if you know it. Now let's try to add or a wishlist button in our primary menu. For that, go to customize. Now this is our wishlist page. We will copy the link. Here we go to header builder and I'm going to add a new button here. Change the button to wishlist. And click paste the link we copied. and click on publish close this and see if this wishlist button works now as you can see we are redirected to our wishlist page so that's it for this video thank you for watching like if you find this video useful and subscribe thank you